Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I am documenting my wardrobe one video at a time to see what I have, what I use and what I don't need. I want to declutter my wardrobe from what I don't use, but most of all I want to remind myself that I have plenty of stuff. And today I wanted to take a look at my jeans. With this one I wasn't really expecting to declutter any because my jeans get a lot of wear. If anything, I feel like I miss the perfect jeans for me. I rotate through all of these jeans, but I do not have a favorite at the moment. I think finding good jeans is one of the most difficult wardrobe challenges because there are so many things that have to be right. And this one comes pretty close, it's definitely my favorite of the moment, but my toxic trait with most of my clothes is thinking I can make any size work. So in an ideal world, these would be a size smaller, but I got them on Vinted, so an online thrifting platform. And I bought them because I liked the previous pants so much and they are from COS. And I found these one, um, which are the perfect color for me, but they are a size up. Another problem that I have to find my perfect jeans is that jeans are always too long on me and I love to have a long leg so I mostly wear my jeans with heels or I want to wear my jeans with heels and I think it would be a shame to shorten them because then I can't wear them with heels and I also think like I do have pretty short legs and it feels weird to cut jeans so short I feel like it's damaging the piece but it's making it better for me and that's something that i have to learn filming this video i realized i have plenty of jeans to wear with heels but i don't have any to wear with flat shoes so when i wear flat shoes i always uh, roll them up and then i end up with a pair of jeans that is very obviously ill looking and i do wear flat shoes 50 percent of the time my previous favorite jeans, for example, I didn't wear for a long time when I first got them, but after I cut them short, I wore them a lot, but more on them later, because although they are ruined after wearing them 109 times, I still keep them for when I paint or work in the garden, and they are a good reminder for what I actually need in my wardrobe. I might ask yourself why I know exactly how much I wore them. It's because I keep an Excel file and I always track every day what I wore that day. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but it actually helps me a lot with my shopping habits. I attempted to organize this video by arranging my jeans from most frequently worn or favorite jeans to least favorite. However, I also discovered many duplicates in my collection, so I decided to also show them in pairs. For instance, the first two pairs were identical jeans, but in different sizes and colors. The following ones, number three and four, were my two beige jeans, one suitable for winter with a heavier material and the other with a lighter fabric. And then I also have two brown pants. So this one is from Another Stories. It's also a little bit lighter, but I like this brand because the sizing is very consistent. And because I liked that one so much, I wanted another brown pants that was a little bit more thick and that I might could cut up um, to fit with sneakers. But then I didn't because I felt like the quality was so nice. Uh, this one is from Zara, which is a brand that I think has some good jeans, but the sizing is not consistent at all. Uh, so I think after this video, I will cut this one up. So, well, not cut it up, but make it shorter so I can actually wear this one more with sneakers because I have two brown pants and they are both quite long. Uh, it doesn't really make sense. And I actually wear the other one also in winter, so although this one is very thick, uh, I wear them both equally uh, in winter and only the other one in summer. So I feel like I have enough brown pants to make this one shorter. This one is also from Another Stories and it is a bit more out of my comfort zone because of the color. While I always loved jeans, my collection primarily consisted of black or dark navy options for a long time. 
I tend to gravitate towards neutrals, but I also appreciate a bit of contrast in a look. However, because most of my jeans were dark, I often found myself in a very dark look. So after realizing how frequently I wore the beige jeans, I considered adding these to my wardrobe. So these jeans allow me to incorporate darker pieces on top without feeling like my entire outfit is too dark. These jeans were a bit of a gamble because I got them on Vinted and they are from Zara, so the sizing could be way off, but I'm so happy I bought these ones because this is a good example of buying something that is a staple in your wardrobe that is slightly different than the ones you already own. These are basic jeans but still are interesting for me because of the wash and the fact that they are a bit more low-waisted than my other jeans. But they are way too long even with my tallest heels so I still have to cuff them and I think I will shorten these ones so they fit perfectly with these heels. These jeans are a recent addition to my wardrobe and I did buy them because I thought they would have a similar vibe as the ones before. They are different because uh, they are a little bit more high-waisted, the color is uh, definitely different, but the concept is the same. They are a staple in my wardrobe, but they are still interesting to me because I don't have anything in this color. I do have the same problem with them, they are also very long and I also will have to shorten them. But other than that, I am very happy with them because these kind of jeans give me the opportunity to wear something basic but don't feel bored with my outfit. From all of the jeans that I have, these are the ones that I'm considered decluttering because I first of all don't wear them a lot, I have them for a long time, they feel a little bit worn out, you can see it on the garment that they have this loose fabric and in the beginning it felt very cozy but right now it's just not right. They also don't fit so good, they are not very wide in the leg so if they were a little bit wider in the leg i would not mind that they were a little bit bigger on top but now they don't fit good um, on top and then they are very slouchy but still very fitted i don't know how to describe this properly but i wish the leg was a little bit wider These jeans are also pretty old, I think I got them for 4 years, but I still like them a lot. I don't wear them as often as I used to, but I do grab them for a casual walk, to work in a garden, but also just for work. These are a little bit shorter, so I can wear them a little bit more comfortable with a sneaker or with tiny heels like these. Um, so that's why they are still a staple in my wardrobe because I do not have a lot of jeans with this length and I also really like the color. They are a bit too big I would say but I feel like it gives a slouchy look and it feels like it is meant to be. And that's why I didn't wear them a lot in the beginning when I just got them. And that's what I have with a lot of jeans. I don't like them in the beginning and then I grew into them. And I hope I will have that with these jeans. When I got them on COS um, just two months ago or one month ago, I had high hopes for them because the material looked very nice. Uh, the fit of them looked very nice. But when I got them, the fit was not what I was expecting it to be. So I 
think I will just have to alter them a bit or I will shorten them so I can wear them with flat shoes or I will cut them um, in the inside. I don't know if I can explain this properly, but I want to open them up um, on the end of it so they fall open and they fall over my heels because I thought they were going to be a little bit more white. But I do like the quality, the color and the material and I do still think I can make them work. This jeans is the row jeans from weekday. I really like the fit for going on walks. I mostly like a wider jeans for the look of it, but when it comes to practicality, you can't convince me that a wide jeans is practical. So this one is a little bit more fitted or just a straight jeans actually. And I wear it when I go for a walk or when I just want to feel a little bit more practical when I'm on my bike and so on. And although this jeans doesn't get a lot of wear right now, I do think this is my most timeless jeans because I feel like you wouldn't be able to tell if I got this 10 years ago, five years ago, a day ago, or even five years from now, if that makes sense. I can see myself wearing this when I'm 10 years older or even 20 years older. Whereas other jeans, I feel like I will get tired of them because they are a bit more specific. And then these jeans are also pretty classic. I noticed that I didn't have black jeans anymore. The last ones that I owned were my favorite. You will see it in a second. But I washed them a couple of times too many and they turned gray and very washed. So I needed another black pair. So I got this one. Uh, it is pretty good i don't think it's going to be my favorite the fit is a little bit too big um, but i still am going to wear it a ton i think i already wore it seven times and i only got this one for a month so it definitely fills a gap in my wardrobe but i do feel like i have to look for a more quality jeans that fits me a little bit better so here is the jeans that was my favorite a year ago. I wore that one 109 times, but because of uh, washing it a little bit too much, it turned gray and I don't mind that color. I actually like that color a lot, but you could see uh, stripes in it. So on some parts, it, uh, the dye came off a little bit too much. And then the button also, um, is lost so I don't have a button on this one so when I wear it to paint for example I wear it with a belt and then you also can see that I painted in it so it has some paint on it but I keep it because I do wear it still but uh, I also keep it to remind me what I still look for in a jeans. So that was everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it inspired you to look at your own wardrobe, see what you can declutter, what you lack also and to feel like you have plenty of stuff and I'll see you soon.